Hi, welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Penrith Golf. We've got a new iron to review for you today. It's an exciting one for me. It's the Ben Hogan Icon iron. So many of you guys have been asking, requesting me to uh, review this particular iron, and unfortunately, uh, Ben Hogan have managed to send these out to me. So thanks to those guys for, for arranging that and getting these out to me to test. And I'll tell you what, these look absolutely stunning. So it's a blade iron, the forge, it's very classic, very beautiful. So we're going to test it. We've got Trapman fired up on the ground here so we can get some data, obviously provide you with some ball flight through Trapman um, Simulator and also then back it up with a few numbers and obviously my personal feedback on the looks and the feel of these particular clubs. Okay, so Ben Hogan Icon Iron, beautiful looking golf. I've got these out of the box and straight away I was very impressed by the first impressions of the looks. Very beautiful looking golf club. It's that satin polish sort of finish. Um, not high polish, but it's like a satin with a little bit of polish on that back section, but not too glary, which is good. Um, and then first impressions when you're putting that down by the golf ball, it, it just sits absolutely stunning. You know, very little offset there. It's a very sort of squat, uh, compact head from that heel to toe section. Sort of medium to slim top line, but it's not really slim, so it's not a club you put down and go, oh, that looks a bit scary, too small in the way. Um, it, 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 it sort of gives you that little bit of confidence there, but it is that very classic sort of shape of that uh, particular head. So I'm going to get the first one hit straight away. Again, it looks super behind the ball. These are satin, but they're also available in a black finish as well, which look uh, pretty stealth-like. Okay, that feels absolutely stunning. Really nice, the ball flight there. Uh, quite sort of neutral, so club head speed 90. Full speed one, two, four, spinning at 6,600, carrying 187. So, really good distance there for an iron of this sort of caliber. You know, you wouldn't expect this to be a very distant sort of orientated club. That's what sort of put it out there quite, uh, quite nicely for that first shot. So, technology in the head, again, it's a blade head. What can you do with it? It's a forged head. So, again, we're going to get that nice sort of feel, that control. Um, and this is what these irons are really sort of about, is control. We're not looking at distances, I've just sort of mentioned that it's more of a control aspect. Probably for that uh, better ball striker, and that maybe that more sort of low handicap golf who's looking for ultimate of control, but consistency. That's what I'd expect to see from these types of irons. We'll soon see that as we hit, hit a few more shots. So we've got a progressive centre of mass happening here. So basically what that is, this little bottom section of weight in the irons is progressively going to get a little bit lower as you go into those longer irons and then slightly moves up the head as you go into the more lofted iron. So obviously the more um, longer irons, you just want that little bit of help, just try and get that launch and that spin control. Again, it's the consistency of spin as you're progressing through that, uh, through the whole set of the clubs as you change them in and out when you're out on that golf course. Okay, again, very neutral, the shot I didn't get all of that, I was a little bit heel size of that particular shot so yeah drops off a bit of ball speed down to 119 carry 180 but spinning pretty much the same 6600 so those two subtleties of striker hasn't changed that spin going to drop ball speed and that's probably the big thing with these types of club obviously if you do miss middle you are going to move, lose a little bit more ball speed maybe more so than like a Perimeter, yeah, said that then. A perimeter to weighted iron, or you know, the all that game improved iron. Okay, there's a little bit of a pulley one, but again, struck, struck very solid, flying very sort of high, slightly pulled there. So it's going to kill the dispersion ring a tiny bit there. So, ball speed back in that 123, better strike there, can spin very, very consistent, 6 4. 187 carry. So even though that was a pull shot, it's quite interesting there. That pull shot, that didn't really go any further on that carry than that first shot I hit. So very similar that ball speed with that first shot. The pull you generally you, you generally see a more uh, a reduced dynamic loft, a little bit hotter, a little bit less spin, and they tend to go longer those, but that hasn't. So that's a good thing for me. My left miss is a little bit of um, my bad shot, so I don't want that going long on me. That has it, so it's, that's quite an encouraging sign there. 
So let's talk a little bit about the lofts on these uh, Icon irons. So the 7 iron is coming in at 34 degrees of loft. And Ben Hogan is sort of saying here they've got a 4 degree gap in between every single iron. So from that long iron all the way through to that wedge, they're exactly 4 degrees of loft for that consistency of that gap in and again of that spin number. So the 4 iron is coming in at 22 degrees. There's no three iron available in these, which surprised me. I thought there might be that option, but then it obviously there's the options of more driving utility irons that you can replace into that longer area. Uh, moving into that wedge, uh, coming in, in at 46 degrees, so quite traditional, but nowadays anyway, in that, uh, in that gap in, in that loft in for these particular irons. Okay, get fraction in that heel, but it's flowing. Very neutral indeed. Again, 121 or one, yes, yeah, 121 ball speed, 69 speed, 179. So we're getting some good distance there. Even all those slight miss hits there, which I'm dropping a little bit of ball speed, distance wise isn't too bad at all. The spin rate is sitting in a very, very consistent area, which is great. And that's what I'd expect to sort of see from these sorts. So the other little bit of technology that's featuring these is a V-sole here. And it's quite a thin V-sole. So um, V-sole v -sole is very um, good for when you're interacting with the turf. It allows you to sort of get into the turf, but then keeps the club coming up and out of the turf a little bit. So you've got a little bit of bounce in that front section, but then the trail section is sort of shampooed off a little bit. So it just prevents sort of digging in, really. Uh, so typically, you know, the, the, the lower hand of cap golf will get a little bit more sort of down on the ball, we tend to sort of compress it, so the V-sole will very much help for getting through the turf and different types of turf, um, as well as sort of different lies that you'd experience out on that golf course. Okay, just a little bit of that left hand side there for me again. We all know that tends to be my weaker shot. And that was just a touch clean there as well. But these are just slight imperfections. And I think this is a good thing with these types of irons. You know, you get feedback from your strikes, don't we? You know, um, sometimes game improvement irons, we can hit it within reason pretty much anywhere on that club face. It's hard to get the feedback of where you struck it on that face, where more of a traditional club like this, you do definitely get that little bit of feedback, which, feedback, which I think is a good thing. Okay, so Ben Hogan with County sent me a full set of these. So I'm just going to hit a couple of shots with a four iron and a few shots with a pitcher wedge again, just to show you those uh, particular numbers as moving to those longer irons. So four iron isn't again isn't as scary as what I thought it might be. It's yes, it's a small compact head, but it's not super super thin, so it's good. It gives you that little bit of confidence, that long sort of iron. Okay, let's get this four iron struck here, just stunning down the board. Very sort of sleek. Head. Struck that soup again, just fraction of that left hand side there, but really, really nice ball flight. Super sound, super sort of connection there. 141 ball, 3 8 spin for pulley one, carried 2 4 1. Wow, was that because it was a little bit of a pulley one? I don't know, but that's gone a long way for four iron. Shot again, super ball fly seems to get out there really aggressively. Like that 142 ball, 240 carry again, 39 spin. So it's not like it's super low spin to get that ball out there. That's a good ball speed there, 141. Ball uh, club head speed at 98, but the spin's really consistent. So I think I've got a lot of confidence there. It's peaking at 100 foot in its height, so it's not mega, mega low. It's coming in with a bit of stopping power in regards to descent angle, but also then with a little bit of spin. Okay, let's move into that wedge. Okay, so pitching wedge in the hands, 46 degrees of loft, and again, it's a fantastic shape behind that golf ball. Probably what I would say in this wedge is the leading edge is very, very square. It's very straight leading edge, which is sometimes a bit peculiar. Sometimes you tend to see a little bit more of a curvature on that leading edge when you get into more of the wedges, but that is very square. But I would say that's more of a it's a Ben Hogan trait there, I think. I'm just casting my mind back from the Apex irons, and I always remember the wedges, um, it's for the E, e it was an E wedge one to basically, the straight square leading edge, I always remember that. So, very much that sort of Ben Hogan sort of look there, I would say. Okay, so pitching wedge. Yeah, feels great, as you'd expect. 
doesn't look far. He looks to be a lot of control on that ball flight there. Very confident that's going to stop when it comes into ninth. We're at 1,300 spin, 142 carry. It's lovely. Feels fantastic. Feels as I'd expect a 4 giant to feel. Sounds beautiful. Looks great behind the golf ball. And I'll tell you what, the numbers are pretty, pretty good and very consistent. That's the really good thing. I definitely that better player, that low handicap who's looking for this type of iron. Definitely, I would say, would want that consistency. Doesn't want those flyers. Let's go and check those things out in a little bit more detail. And that 7 iron, 4 iron, and also that pitch match. Okay, so just having a little quick look at those numbers there. So we can see you start with that 7 iron at the bottom in the white. I obviously, hit a few more shots with that than I did with the wedge and the 4 iron. But we can see clubhead speed at a 90 mile an hour mark, ball speed at 122. Um, launching at 21 degrees, spinning at 6,600. So uh, definitely an area where I would expect that lofted iron of a 7 iron, 34 degrees to be sort of spinning in that area. And you can see the spin there is pretty consistent. So I was gonna move around a little bit just through my subtleties of strike. And obviously I did get a couple there which were a little bit healy, which was that 179 and that 180 sort of carry. So obviously that's just dropped me that sort of six yards of distance. But again, that's obviously more me, slight miss hit, but the spin has stayed consistent. And I did get a couple of little pulley ones in there, which haven't gone silly long, which is great. So that's, again, I, I, I wouldn't want that to sort of happen when I'm out on that golf course. So the spin hasn't gone low and it hasn't sort of, um, you know, gone that extra sort of 10 yards that sometimes you can see with a pull shot. Moving into the four iron, 97 club head, 141 uh, ball speed, so really good, sort of good jump there. Spin again, 3866, fantastic area for that four inch, coming in with a little bit of control there, and 240 carry, that seemed to get out there. You know, I did strike those two really well, but 240, 241, very, very consistent in that spin and that ball speed. Moving into the wedge, 85, 103 ball, launching 26. You can see again the spin, very consistent between those two shots, carrying 140 and 142. Okay, everybody, so there we go. There's the Ben Hogan Icon Irons. A lot of you have been asking me to review that, and I'm so glad that Hogan have sent these out to me. They're a great set of clubs. I did those the PTX Pro Iron, and I think it was last year. That was a really good iron, just a little bit more like cavity. So, you, you know, if you want a little bit more forgiveness, that would be a good iron to look at. But if you want more of that sort of, well, what I would say is a very consistent uh, performance there, the Icon Iron is excellent, really good iron. A little bit of a different um, sort of format with Ben Hogan. They sell direct to consumers, so you won't find these sat on the shelf in a retail store. Um, but having said that, you will pay a lot less. So you make a real good saving on a set of these. I think these are $770 for a four to wedge. So I think it's a good three to $400 less than a, maybe more of that premium sort of, um, or more of the high stream sort of brands basically. Um, the only maybe downside to that is you can't really sort of test them in lots of different shaft options and really go through that fitting process and really dial them in. In, them in. They will build to a spec but you've got to give them that spec so that's maybe just a slight downfall of that but again you're going to be paying a little bit of a different uh, price tag for that. Okay let me know your thoughts. Hogan, Icon, Irons, love to hear your thoughts as always so post them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video please share it around, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button more important if you haven't already done so very much appreciate your support as we're just reaching up to 35,000 subscribers which is fantastic. Obviously, we're going to try and push on and, and grow that a little bit more. So I appreciate your support as always. And hopefully, we'll catch up with you all very soon.